prepare to be immersed into the magical world of cellular respiration. In this short cinematic masterpiece, we will be using modern media to explore the processes of glycolysis, the citric acid cycle, and the electron transport chain. The first process we will be exploring is glycolysis. Here we see the two ATP molecules that will be used to start our reaction. Represented by the six barrels is our six carbon molecule, glucose. Watch as the process of glycolysis occurs, splitting our six carbon glucose into two three carbon pyruvates. Wow, look at those pyruvates go. Produced from this reaction are two three carbon pyruvate molecules, four ATPs, and two electrons. Glycolysis occurs in the presence of oxygen. When O2 is not present, glycolysis follows an alternate pathway, fermentation. Fermentation is anaerobic, not requiring O2, and has two main types, one, alcoholic fermentation, and two, lactic acid fermentation. When your body cannot supply enough O2 to your muscle tissue, lactic acid fermentation produces the needed energy. Instead of making pyruvates, it creates lactic acid, which, when it builds up, creates that burning sensation in your muscles when you are tired. The reactants in both types of fermentation are pyruvic acid and NADH, while the products are NAD plus and either alcohol and CO2 or lactic acid. Here we see our two electrons hopping aboard an NAD+, turning it into an NADH. It will now carry them to the electron transport chain, which we will explain later. The second stage of cellular respiration is called the citric acid cycle. The citric acid cycle, also called the Krebs cycle. I am Krebs, and this is my cycle is a series of chemical reactions which completes the breakdown of glucose. The process begins with the two pyruvates left over from glycolysis. These are oxidized into a C2-acetyl group. These combine with a C4 group to form citric acid. Next, the acetyl groups are oxidized, producing CO2. This results in a new C4 molecule. Then it undergoes a process of oxidization, phosphorization, which produces ATP. It then undergoes a final process of oxidization, which produces NADH and FADH2. So basically, it creates some energy. For each turn of the citric acid cycle, two CO2 molecules are produced along with one ATP. Three NADH is one, two, and three, three NADH, and one FDAH2. The electrons carried by the NADH and FDH2 are brought to the next step, the electron chain. The electron transport chain is the third stage of cellular respiration. This process occurs in the mitochondria of a cell. The electrons left over from glycolysis in the Krebs cycle are used in this process. The electrons are passed from protein to protein in the electron transport chain. The electrons are represented by the yellow people and the proteins are the purple glowy things. And they release energy as they move down the chain. This energy is used to make ATP and pump H plus into the center of the mitochondria. The final electron receptor at the bottom of the chain is oxygen, which reacts with four H plus ions and four electrons to form two H2O molecules. Just like that. Let's watch it again. Each of the previous reactions created this. Glycolysis created two ATPs, 
citric acid cycle also create two ATPs, and those cycles allowed the electron transport chain to create 34 ATPs, bringing the total up to 38 ATPs. Lots of energy. Thanks for watching.